ProPublica is a non-profit newsroom that investigates abuses of power. Sign up to receive our biggest stories as soon as they republished. Here is the takeaway from the Iowa fiasco, beware of caucuses run by political parties. But don't keep panic about the integrity of most primaries and the general election, which are run by state and county election administrators. As Tuesday morning wore on without results from Iowa's Democratic caucuses, the long-awaited first test of the strength of President Donald Trump as would be challengers, both public officials and enraged commentators stoked fears that Iowa was a harbinger of chaos for the rest of the 2020 campaign. Some said it raises alarms about the broader condition of election security and the reliability of computer systems that record, tally and publish the votes. Trump campaign manager Brad Parscale even suggested on Twitter Monday, without evidence, that the process was rigged. Get our top investigations subscribed to the Big Story newsletter. Don't you miss out on ProPublica's next investigation. Sign up and get the Big Story email whenever we break news. Email address aside is protected by reCAPTCHA and the Google Privacy Policy and Terms of Service apply. But there is a marked difference between the Iowa caucuses and the upcoming primaries in New Hampshire and South Carolina, as well as the 14 state primaries on Super Tuesday. The Iowa Democratic Party ran the caucuses, much as its counterparts in Nevada, Wyoming and several territories will do in the next few months. Party officials have less training and experience in administering the vote than do state and local election administrators who oversee most of the primaries. Reflecting such concerns, the Democratic nominating process includes fewer caucuses this year than it did in 2016. The Democratic National Committee has called for using government-run primaries rather than party-run caucuses. Caucuses are run by rank amateurs. Even though we have concerns about the capacity of election officials, at least this is what they do a lot of, said Charles Stewart, who runs MIT's election data and science lab. Even in the smallest of jurisdictions you run a lot of elections, you have contingency plans. The parties, bless their hearts, they don't do this very much and that's the bottom line. Connecticut Secretary of State Denise Merrill, whose office will oversee the state as primary in April, said, The Iowa caucus is an excellent reminder of why important elections should be run by trained, skilled and experienced state and local election administrators, not political parties. Connecticut's results undergo a post-election audit, and all votes there are on paper. Connecticut's voters should be confident that they can trust the results of our elections, she said. In retrospect, IRS Democratic Party made one mistake after another. It introduced a new app, widely reported to have been made by a company called Shadow Inc. Without sufficient testing, training of precinct captains or transparency. At the same time it made reporting requirements more complex, so that the Democratic volunteers who manage individual precincts were required to provide three times as many data points as in past caucuses on a brand new app many had never been trained to use. There were also many more candidates this year, further multiplying the amount of information to be reported. Party officials didn't hire enough people to take reports by phone in case the system failed. And they managed expectations poorly, assuring the public that results would be published faster than ever before. These are probably the most prepared we've ever been as a party for these caucuses, Iowa Democratic Party Chair Troy Price told CBS on Monday morning, while shrugging off concerns about the possibility of technical problems. We re ready. A presidential preference card used this year in the Iowa Democratic Party caucus in Fort Madison. Keith Gillette slash Icon Sports Wi-Fi addict Getty Images, this is not the first time that administrative problems have plagued the Iowa caucuses. In 2012, Mitt Romney was declared the winner of the Republican caucuses shortly after 1.30 a.m. by eight votes over Rick Santorum. Two weeks later, a recount showed Santorum had actually won. And in 2016, Hillary Clinton's campaign declared victory after 2.30 a.m. even though official counting was not completed until that afternoon. This year, the brand new technology, lack of training and overconfidence by the state party amounted to a perfect storm. Government officials said they became aware of problems in the late afternoon, when precinct chairs began to report problems logging into the app. Many gave up on the app and began calling results in ST. You can read full post on cryptophones. News, link available in text below.